Oh, welcome back. We're trying to not trigger an alarm, I guess. I do not know what this does. Okay. Is that a sort of pattern that's continuously followed, or is it? I think me hitting that resets it or something like that. So that resets the cycle somehow. I see. Kind of resets the, the alarm. By an alarm, it just means us not being let in, I guess. Instead of anything more exciting than that. Is that a flashlight? Maybe I can use this for something. Sure. Why not? Oh, whatever. Okay. Oh! Okay, calm down there. It's kind of weird it doesn't instantly hurt me, but I guess I'll... take that without complaining. It looks like they would hurt me. It's kind of abstract. It's weird, it's closed on the map, but I'm all out there otherwise. And I'm tempted just to see. Did I get to that setting off the alarm or something? No, the alarm's still on here. Ah. No hints as to how to do this. I mean, other lasers, we couldn't. We need a switch source, so we wouldn't need one for this one, I don't think. I don't see anything that could possibly be powering this laser or anything like that. Can't interact with the machine up in there in any way, as far as I can tell. I don't think, even from this platform here, that I would be able to reach it if I wanted to do anything interesting with it. I think I, I, think I tried shooting stuff at it earlier, didn't I? Yeah, you don't have that much range with these weapons. Yeah, you really don't. So I'm not inclined to think you need to hit, hit it from from afar or anything. So I really don't know. scanner that I don't have to use. It's interesting. Very cool sounds. Alright then. I have a few choices here. I'd like to be up there because that's where there are things to pick up. This doesn't seem like a place to be, though, unfortunately. Why are there security systems inside the security area? I guess that's just how security works. You gotta have layers and redundancy. But they you still have safety. They won't let you in on these platforms until they're actually in place. They're probably even better if they came on demand. Of course. If you leave open a route to disable your security system, I'm not sure what the point is. Well, I know I need to have a magnet to interact with these computers instead of just being Jimmy and knowing how to use them, but whatever. has some very strong opinions about where it should be pointing in this area for some reason. This is an interesting view here though. I actually like this part visit visually a decent bit. Alright, I feel like there's not real 
any reason to go one way or the, over the other. You're, of course, on the brink of death with one life left. Trying to navigate some very erratic patterns of lasers here. What are you doing? Okay, I can... That one does not let me through. I wonder if I need to use my, uh... Laser for the other one. Oh. Great. Shoot. I uh, thought I had one more life left, actually. Uh, that means I to redo some things, actually. Whoops. So that makes me wonder, though, if we can go through the, that one laser with our... I kind of doubt it. Makes me wonder if we can go through that one laser with our shield. Maybe that was the idea that I needed to to use. And other laser walls we can't do that with, without any real explanation. So I'm doubtful. But yeah, maybe I should be using my laser more often. From the command my, uh, to the abandoned silo. This is the often. hub of Calamitous's communication network. Maybe I should phone home. Alright, so, pick two. Of course, the second time is always the faster one. Sometimes. Did I come from here? Can't go back in. Is there stuff in there? Not as far as I can... I don't think so. It's better to start off with would be good though. I'm alive apparently. I still only have one, one life, which is great. I guess we'll head on back through here now. What did those switches do over there? Yeah, I had to pull all of them to open up the, the laser there. If I remember right, I could just do something like this. Yeah. Why is there a laser here? I don't quite get that. That's the real way you negate fall damage. I believe I want to go this way. I knew I could just jump there now. There you go. So now I can just fall infinitely without concern, actually. So that saves me some time in this area at the very least. Why are there different styles of ladder here? I guess it, it's that there's one kind of ladder on the outside wall and then another. It's a bit more freestanding. So let's see if we can make the jump up here the first time too. Considering the trouble that gave us before. Up we go. I mean, I need to do that little platforming maze again too. I don't know. I think I everything will go faster this time, so I won't worry too much about it. You know what we're doing, and it gives us a chance to try going back to that one laser that I couldn't figure out how to get past. Again, though, if you need a battery to get in there, you can get trapped in there indefinitely, in theory. Which doesn't seem like something that they'd want you to do if you ran out of battery in there, in the laser guarded section. those robots doing? They make noise. They're very loud when they move. That's not what I was trying to shoot at me. That's not the thing you could actually hit with the... 
for this. Yes, that doesn't immediately obviously do anything. Probably starting to get a feel of how to quickly switch to each weapon though. <laughs> Took me long enough. There's something else hiding over here that I might have missed, I guess. I don't know what it, what it could be. I feel like I was pretty thorough on this part. I really don't know what those switches did. I, I think that this switch would be the only one necessary to open this part here. I don't know what the others would be for. How much battery do I have? Not a ton. They could run straight through some of these lasers. If I use it judiciously. I didn't realize that the the batteries trapped you a little bit. You don't actually need to touch them directly. Darn it, I didn't realize that could hurt me in both places. I thought that going I thought that could only reach me on the second ladder. So was there anything over here? Yes. There was a life, apparently. Oh, I don't want to shoot for some reason. Maybe, uh... Oh no. I wasn't using the, the gun. I don't know. I don't know why there was a delay on me being able to shoot there. Whoa, darn it! Okay, so, nope. So truly no idea of how to do that. Uh, it does bug me. Get this over here at least. I feel like the laser is just kind of their, their generic, we don't know what else to use as a weapon for this particular object, so just use the laser to destroy it as opposed to anything else type of weapon. Because most of the stuff you can destroy it doesn't make much of any sense. Not that shining whoops, light at something to destroy it usually makes much sense in the first place, honestly. I think there's a lot of stuff that could be missing over here. On the outer perimeter of this spot. I don't think there was anything that I saw. When I was here before. Apparently not. What it is then. Then let's go up and get this. Do I still need the one invention up here? Actually, wait, do I still have inventions here? Or invention pieces? I do still have them actually. Huh. So I didn't lose that progress. So I don't need to come back up here. I'll back up the, the health real quick though. Thing, trying to get an idea of what all these different things are doing and how they're connected. Doubt they're going to let me into that one little laser thing, though, that I want to access. And some battery won't hurt either. Seems how I'm using it a bit more lately. Okay. Should be able to. Oh no, I have to open the back up. I don't know. This would rather give me for some things. Like it doesn't remember the the things you have to destroy, for instance. I 
nothing back here, I guess. It's a fun platforming, maybe. I don't think I ever saw anything on the other side. Change directions really slowly with this thing. I'm sure I came over here, actually. I'm very certain. Anyway, is it sensible to try to just jump over this thing? Like, can you trigger that at all? So that triggers it. Whoops. Did that open the door again? Or close the door again, I mean? No. I'm curious. Okay, yeah, you can uh, activate it. It's just really easy to get over it. Oops. Stop! Just really easy to get over this way, for some reason. I should be careful to actually go over this. In a way that won't get me hurt, though. Oh, I'm fine. Give me alone. Not optimal, but oh well. Can I just... Yeah, that'd be a hard jump. I could probably jump down there from here. Alright, we're about very aware though, so I would not worry. It starts making fun noises once you break it. Wonderful. For being the technology guy, Jimmy certainly breaks a lot of it. And in this case, I mean technology that isn't his own. Okay. I guess I'll get back to where we were and we died, and then we can continue from there. Oh, you know, I should... I probably should use my shield there when that thing was trying to hit me. That laser was coming at me. Oh, well. It's wasting a little bit of laser here. A little bit of battery here, but on the whole, I think that's a good idea, what I'm doing there. Jimmy is not trying to hit the, the enemies. Please do that, Jimmy. There. Auto aim is a real double edged sword in games like this. Anyways, see you next time, everyone.